Yeah, hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. Ethereum um, seems to see a little bit of upside here, um, here currently, but it has not broken out of this descending wedge. We discussed it in the previous video that this um, move to the downside here could be complete, A, B, and then the C wave in an ending diagonal. Um, but there are other there are other possibilities as well, you know. Um, what eventually is important to continue with this upside in wave five to get in wave five extension, a further extension, um, is that it holds this support. I mean, ideally, I wanted to hold the fifteen sixty level. This is um, a low, and you know that it could obviously could still reach also in this scenario because what I cannot rule out is that the wave four here is unfolding as maybe some kind of a triangle pattern, but for now I'm counting it up here at around um, 1660. And that's also why I mentioned to you um, that a break above that level would indicate that the low for this wave two is already in and it would shift the probabilities towards putting in this fifth wave extension into the $1,800 region. It's also holding, actually holding quite well above this support area. Um, in contrast to Bitcoin, which isn't holding so well. So here I would certainly give it the possibility to put that extension in before oops, before eventually coming down into this wave four support area, um, this larger wave four, which if we lose the support now, yeah, we could certainly see a little bit of a deeper wave four. But eventually, as long as we hold above 1430 or 1434, I would still expect further upside for Ethereum and either directly in a in a wave five extension of three or if the wave five of three was already finished here, which we can't really say for sure, and because it made a higher high, it fulfilled the minimum expectations and so on, then um, it could go down a little bit deeper in this wave four and then move up. You know, what I'd like to see personally is a deeper wave four eventually to get a bit of clear structure into this because what we're doing here at the moment is really just boring sideways action. And um, yeah, I mean, ideally we finish this off all this week. I would like to see here a solution to this at some point this week, um, maybe in preparation for CPI data next week that at least we know how it's going on here, you know, what, what the next steps are and we make some progress in the chart. At the moment, there is only sideways action really and we need to watch these key support areas here. I mean, if if it loses this channel, then I think we're going to get that deeper way for. I have, um, I have reduced down, as you probably remember from the previous videos, I have reduced down here this, um, let me just see where we were. Yeah, from here. I have reduced down the support area to 50% to 38.2 FIP. Because let's be honest, um, the ideal or the first target for a wave four is here, the 23.6 FIP level at 1580. That's exactly where we are basically. And you know, it makes no sense to leave this support area here for this wave four, because we already are in, in, in a different wave structure currently in this support area. So it doesn't make sense to make this large yellow wave four um, to put it in here. Let's say we, we touch that area and go higher than you know, um, you can, you, we already have a support area here. So I, I don't want to have two of a different wave. It doesn't make any sense. So we are in support now. If we drop below this support, we are likely getting into this support area, which is then a different wave. And at least we have some clarity that this yellow wave four has started, which as long as we hold above 1430, we can still get this fifth wave here and form a larger first wave. That's sort of how I, you know, how I see this at the moment. Um, I don't really have a clear expectation because probabilities are really close together here. At, as, it's very simple. As long as the green support area is holding, my preference would be to put this extension up or put this extension in, in wave five of three, which doesn't mean I would necessarily trade it aggressively because um, we had a nice rally already. And in my opinion, it's taking it's, it's time to take some risk off. Um, and um, if we break support, I would expect it to get into this area and then we need to see if it's holding this one. If it doesn't hold this, we could already get a deeper wave two. And only if it's holding this, 
we can say with more clarity that a bear market low has been struck. But for now, it is important just to observe the range, observe the ascending trend lines, observe the support area here. And what you need to know is that if we drop, if we go above 1660, especially in an impulsive fashion, it would um, indicate that a rally here might be starting of a third wave. And um, yeah, there, there are also here a few possibilities. We can count the wave one as a three wave move, for example, yeah, here to the upside. Um, that would be a wave one of an ending diagonal, which is going in an ABC structure. Or we can say um, we had actually a five wave move here in impulse, in which case the wave three should be impulsive as well. At the moment, I'm counting this move as an ABC, but it could also just be A wave, B wave, C wave. Doesn't really make a difference in the, you know, it's just sort of the technicalities of it. And I don't want to make it too academic here. Um, but that's where we are, very simply um, summarized. Hope you liked the update about Ethereum. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye. Thank you.